Hey y'all, it's Alana J. cap I decided to do it a day early so that I can be fully prepared and prepped and so I did a practice cap back in January when my graduation was supposed to be like a week after my birthday but they moved my graduation ceremony because of the panorama and COVID so yeah um basically it was supposed to be on the 28th of january they moved it to february 18th so now i'm about to basically remake the cap that i made um because the cap that i made it on is not the cap that they gave us of course um i didn't want to mess it up then so this is what the practice cap looks like so the words are pretty intelligent psyched to be a graduate and then i have the rhinestones along here and then i have the pearls um border as well so i'm basically going to transfer all of that onto here i have another piece of the same type of paper it's going to go on this cap this is the official cap that they gave um that they gave us and i have those little flowers that are gonna go in the four corners of the cap. Right now, I'm about to just get started. It's gonna be a little montage, pretty much, of me just doing the cap. <laughs> Is my finished cap it says pretty intelligent psyched to be a graduate and I have the flowers on each corner very nice this is what it looks like held up that's the front of the cap that's the bottom 
or that I saw like, you know, that was that. And then this is my tassel. My tassel's white. So, yeah. And I don't know if you guys peep. My nails go really well with the cap. So, it's kind of iridescent. You turn it this way. It's like the pink. It looks kind of like shiny here. Turn it that way. It's the baby pink. It's very pretty. I like it. I like her. And um, in the picture that I showed you guys in my practice one, I did run out of an L. That's why it, intelligent was spelled wrong. But now it's correct. So, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. So, it is officially the night before I graduate. Yay. Um, I've just come so so far and it's just really crazy that i'm graduating especially after this semester like this semester or this past semester in the fall was extremely difficult and extremely hard for multiple reasons <sighs> anyway I am about to just start straightening this hair. This is the same hair that I um, just had on like the other day. Um, I just wanted to straighten it out. Anyway, this is the unit. Um, I haven't, I just recently washed it. So a lot of the baby hairs are like hidden. You guys see like they're hidden. Um, and those will be further customized in the morning. Right now, all I really want to get done is straightening it. I kind of tried to blow dry it straight, um, a little bit, like doing the whole downward motion thing. So, yeah, I had a clip. Don't know where said clip is. My room is a mess but you can't see most of it so i found the clip give me some i just let y'all watch <laughs> straight so what i'm gonna do in the morning a little bit um i might keep it straight to be honest because my graduation is at one but they want us to check in at 12 and knowing me and my sleep and the fact that i have to do a full face in the morning i might not curl it but as far as right now, this is what we have. Of course, I'll, I'm gonna hot comb the top um, once I, you know, do the baby hairs. I'm gonna do all that stuff in the morning. Like I'm literally gonna get up probably nine, um, probably shoot for nine in the morning, get up, do my install the way I wanna do it. Um, you guys know I don't wear my wigs to sleep. All of my wigs are glueless, so I'm not going to be, you know, uh, you know, like gluing it down to my head. But what I can show you guys is I can show you guys the, the hair just straight on me regular, and then I can show you guys my graduation cap on top so that we make sure it fits. So let's do that. So as you guys saw, this is our finished graduation cap. And then, yeah, that's pretty much that. So, let me, ah. Okay, so that's literally how I put on my wigs, guys. I have my elastic band 
And then I literally just plop the wig down. Right now, there's no real customization going on in the front because like I said, the baby hairs are not done. But essentially, this is how it'll look on my head. I mean, of course, with baby hairs. With baby hairs, of course. This is just to show, this looks so weird, like in the front like this, but this is just to show um, what my cap is gonna look like on my head. See if this works. Um, I don't need to have the tassel on that right now. So, let me say front of cap. I might need help putting this on. <laughs> this is not tight at all. It looks weird in the front, but it's not tight at all. Okay. So I think I pretty much got it. I kind of wanted to sit like this. Okay, so I think I put it on correctly. It's gonna be something like this. You guys can see. Did I do that right? Yeah. Like, you guys see? You guys see the cap? I can also put it down this way, but then it's backwards, essentially. So, I think this is the correct way. I haven't worn a cap since high school, so I really don't know. I feel like it'd be back here on some of the girls like it's like back here but that makes zero sense so hold on let me see okay i'm trying to get it as far oh oh it's tilt oh <laughs> it's like tilting y'all <laughs> yeah that looks okay yeah i think i'm wearing it i feel like i'm wearing it correctly but there is some doubts and then you know the tassel will be right here yeah oh my gosh it's so emotional <laughs> look at the detail of this cap like send inquiries now because this thing is fire <laughs> i'm going to put it back on the wigs uh blah blah the mannequin because, like I said, I'm not doing an install right now. It is currently 11.55. So now I have to decorate my um, my stole that I chose for myself. Alrighty, guys. So this is what I came up with so far. Um, this side says TU. And then it says 21. And then at the bottom, it just has the little pink rhinestones. Yeah. And then I'll just go around like this on me. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow morning, okay? Okay, y'all. Uh, so good morning, good morning. It is currently 10, 25, I think that says. Um... It is the morning I graduate. Yes. I'm so excited. Um, I'm so happy. Um, and I'm just like ready. If this robe would stay closed, I would be able to put my hair behind me. But it doesn't want to stay closed. Oh, wait. I may have gotten it. Okay, cool. So, y'all know... Y'all know the deal, y'all. I just did all my skin prep. Um, and I did my hair as far as my edges. Because, you know, last night I said I was tired. So, I didn't do them. 
so yeah so i have like the little swirls right here right here right here right here and right here hopefully that works out with my uh cap and gown i'm gonna try to go um as fast as possible but also um as efficient as possible so yeah so i'm gonna use charlotte tilbury um airbrush flawless foundation so yeah i'm just so excited um uh, cool. i was about to say You know, sometimes when you're prepping for, like, a special event or whatever, um, or you just want your makeup to, like, look super flawless, and you're looking at one thing, and it looks one way, and you're looking at another thing, and it looks another way. That's how I felt in that moment real quick, but we're doing good. So... I don't want to put on... Like, I'm not going to put on another layer than this um, because this foundation is long lasting and long wearing and all that other stuff. And I'm going to make sure I bake and, um, and everything for my face today. What the heck? Oh, I cut off a little bit of my lip with my foundation. I don't know. I put it on my face. Okay. Like I said, guys, I don't have a desk in here, so, like, this is the best we're going to get as far as, like, desk view and not the normal sitting view that I usually have. All right. Foundation all blended out. Looking good. Looking good. We're doing our bright under eye today. I am so excited. I also haven't done my makeup in a while, like full face. So I'm really happy. Yeah, I've just been really waiting to walk for a while, especially just at the beginning of my senior year. Um, I was really just like, ready like i was ready to walk and the fact that i get to after all the stuff that i've been through as far as um like the tragic deaths in my family because that happened all throughout me going to college my college journey um like i lost significant people in my life and um, I know that they like can't necessarily be there today, but I know they'll be watching over me as I walk across the stage. So yeah, but it's great that um, I have my parents um, because they have definitely helped me along the way a lot like especially senior year like i was saying like i was ready to just stop at one point because i was so over the workload for certain things like i was over it i was over it like gen eds certain gen eds did not make sense to me um for my major then switching my major also coming from being like a transfer student um because i started at psu um i don't know if a lot of you guys know that but i did start at penn state university my college career i unfortunately got really really sick due to my asthma um and i had to leave and transfer um and even though that was like the best decision for me, or really like the only decision if I was to 
continue. Um, it sucked because I was leaving all the friends that I made there. Had to make new friends at Temple because my one friend was supposed to be there with me, but then she ended up switching schools because she didn't like uh, some of the classes that Temple had, like some of the professors. And so that change, woo, child. That change was crazy. So if you guys have like any drastic change happen in college, whether it be transferring, um, changing your major, cause I did both of those things. Like share your stories below because oh my goodness, like we really went through it. Transfer students, it's hard out here for a transfer student. Definitely doing the stuff okay you're definitely doing it oh that's a lot <sighs> that's a lot of powder that's a lot of powder okay oh that's not enough okay oh my gosh <sighs> okay we're just gonna take the a lot and just ooh. okay i need a sponge you see how that's like caking up i don't know what's going on this is like one of the finest powders ever um, but my sponge might be too wet, but I don't want that to ruin my makeup too. So hold on, let me just smooth that out. Cause what? With the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, you don't really need contour. Look at that. Snatched. She's snatched. She's warm. She looks good. Ah, oh, the lashes, the lashes. So yeah, guys, um, I'm not staying focused on what I'm saying. No matter what you go through, just keep going. Now, if you really do need to stop, stop. It's okay. Like, it's okay to take breaks. It's okay to... My lips are chapped. I didn't even moisturize them. But, like, if you need to stop and take a break, do it. Like, you do not have to finish in four years. I'm not finishing in four years. I'm finishing in, like, four and a half. Pretty much. Ah! So, yeah. Yeah. That's really what I wanted to tell you guys. Like, I'm just really, really grateful for this moment today. And while I'm watching everybody's name be called, I'm just really gonna think about my experiences. Um, I'm just, you know, reflect on how far I've come. <laughs> Because I've, I've come far. I've definitely come far. I hope my brows come out good. I may have just jinxed that. Hopefully I did it. Oh, what the? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna just use the spoolie one time. Yeah, they look nice, okay. It is 10.51. I almost forgot one of the most important parts of my new makeup routine is my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. This stuff go crazy. This stuff, crazy. Sometimes I think I have too bright of an under eye. I'll just put this on. Woo, 
calm the whole situation down. Like, this stuff is amazing. I'm gonna set thing in. It's gonna have to do right now. Lip. I just wanna give y'all a finished look real quick. All right, so this is my finished look right now. Absolutely nice. Let me take this off. All right, okay. My graduation is at one o'clock, oh my God. It's almost 11 o'clock, so I know the rest of my family is um, probably getting dressed and stuff like that. But this is where we are right now. It looks good. I like how my baby hairs came out. Um, they look really good, really set in, which is what I like. The wig is on, she's secure. Got our nice bright under eye. It looks good, it looks good. Okay, I'm gonna go and do finishing touches and I will see y'all at graduation. Thank <laughs> you. 